as exorcism is done from the people from the church, they basically cast the energy out and the interesting part is they're not using love. They're not using compassion. They actually almost violently mm -hmm. um, rip that energy out of the client and cast it away. Hello everyone, my name is Heidi and this is Andreas from Hyperspace Connection. A very interesting subject in regard to spiritualism therapy and exorcism. Heidi, explain mm -hmm. our audience the, in, in a short manner what is the spiritualism therapy that we do and others and the exorcism that we know uh, the people from the church do. Okay. So there's quite a few differences when it comes to this certain subject. Um, SRT is basically going into a hypnosis session and finding attachments within a person that might be stuck within them. Uh, so when that happens and that um, be we become aware of that, uh, it's extremely important to treat this attachment like a regular soul, a regular person, mm -hmm. a, a regular energy. So that means with compassion, um, compassion with love, and, and, love and, and respect. Caring. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, I, I feel too, we both do, that it's extremely important. Um, whereas if you were having an exorcism done by someone from the church, especially Catholic priests, mm -hmm. that's completely different. Now, they use the symbol of the cross. Okay? Yes. Now, symbols are very important, and it depends on especially the family or the client, on what their belief system is as well. So if they, if they feel that it's important to use that type of instrument or um, water or oil or whatever, um, you could use that, but it's not necessary. Uh, it also goes into understanding the dynamics of that, but that for us, we feel that it's more about being in, in contact with the energy mm -hmm. of the love and the compassion. I think to understand it on an energy level is that um, as exorcism is done from the people from the church, they basically cast the energy out and the interesting part is they're not using love. They're not using compassion. They actually almost violently mm -hmm. um, rip that energy out of the client and cast it away. But where are they putting the energy? Mm -hmm. So it's basically just released, but it's released. It's not put somewhere either safe or to be transformed. And that alone is very interesting as we understand the church being something of love. They actually treat that energy that is obviously as well from the same creator if we have God as yeah. the major source. And they probably wouldn't be happy with us talking about this right that's now. Okay. But that's okay. That's how it is. Yeah. That's how they do. So they cast it yeah. away and release it to somewhere. Mm -hmm. What we do and others that do uh, spirit reason therapy, we actually use the compassion, the love, understanding why the situation is. And we're going to help to either transform that energy because they often have still their little light inside them, even if they're dark. Mm -hmm. Make them aware of it and help them to be transformed. And we help them to bring them somewhere they um, can be healed, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, we are not just going to release that energy into the thin air, because energy has to go somewhere. And I think that's a big part of the big difference between exorcism and uh, modern spirit reason therapy. What are your thoughts there? Anything to add? No, I agree um, in many, many different ways um, on the removal of these of energies. Uh, but we work, again, in more of a loving way. And uh, I think when you because they're very controlling they want to control the body they want to be able to be in charge so you kind of have to go very very softly through it uh, instead of screaming at that yeah uh it's almost kind of a little trick of understanding that uh so 
a lot of times with exorcisms, it takes them many hours, many days to even uh, get this energy out of the body. Mm -hmm. And um, because I think that because it would be force, yes, would, and that's actually, yes. actually almost feeding the problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, we hope you had a little glimpse into the difference between spiritualism and therapy and part of the exorcism done by the church for millennia already. And uh, we leave you with a good day and wish you well. Thanks for watching our video.